Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 193. Describe how splenic dysfunction leads to increase in susceptibility to encapsulated organisms. When you have splenic dysfunction, this leads to a decrease in immunoglobulin M. This will then lead to a decrease in the complement activation, which will lead to decrease in C3B opsonization, and therefore leading to that increase in susceptibility to encapsulated organisms. Name all the encapsulated organisms. Encapsulated organisms include Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenza type B, Neisseria meningitidis, Salmonella, Klebsiella pneumoniae, and lastly, Group B Streptococci. What is the mnemonic to help you remember all these encapsulated organisms? The mnemonic is to remember Shin Sucks, and that's spelled as S H I N S K S. So the first S is for Streptococcus pneumoniae, the H I is for Haemophilus influenza, N is for Neisseria meningitidis, the next S is for Salmonella, the K is for Klebsiella pneumoniae, and the last S is for Group B Streptococci. So what can occur in patients post splenectomy? In patients post splenectomy, they lose their ability to ward off encapsulated organisms. They will also have Howell Jolly bodies, which are nuclear remains seen on the red blood cells. They will also form red blood cells into target cells, and thrombocytosis can also occur. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.